Do you want to be able to do a transition like this? Well, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, how's it going? And uh, I'll be showing you that transition today. And the first thing you'll want to do is load up After Effects. And uh, once you're in After Effects, you're going to want to get the two pictures that you're going to, you know, transition into. So I have this one picture of uh, Dennis Smith Jr. before uh, I photoshopped him. And after right there, so I'm just going to load those in and then drag them on to my sequence right there. All right, so once you put these in here, uh, the first thing you'll want to do is obviously separate the before and after. You can just drag the after like halfway throughout the sequence like that. So you have this before and then the after. Obviously, that's not really a transition yet, but we're getting there. And after you got that done, you'll want to go up to layer new adjustment layer so you have an adjustment layer right here and uh, you'll then want to get two of these effects right here one is motion tile drag that onto the clip and then the other is transform under distort so first thing you're gonna want to do with uh, these two effects is go to motion tile this is again under the adjustment layer change your output output width to 400 and the output height to 400 then you want to check this mirror edges and then this is where i like to make this adjustment layer into two so command or control shift d to uh separate them and then this first one uh you're gonna want to change the scale of it so you press i to go to the front of uh, this first adjustment layer Hit this scale and then you hit U on your keyboard, which brings up uh, this little drop down thing. So you wanna go from 100 to maybe 120, 130. So I press I and O, so I is to get to the start of the clip, O is to get to the end. So I maybe I'll do 130. So you see he's zooming in. And then for this next one, you're wanna, gonna wanna hit I again, and you see your scale's at 100. Uh, you're gonna wanna change that to about 70. And then you're gonna wanna go to the end of your clip, O, and change it back to 100, 110, something like that. Now what I usually do to make these transitions more crisp and um, you know just make them look good is I move this last thing up a little bit. So it transitions back to its original, um, you know, at a faster rate. So I forgot to mention this before, but with uh, both these adjustment layers, uh, you're gonna wanna hit this um, this motion blur right here, uh, just so it, it it's pretty smooth. And then for this first one, hit U again to bring up these two little dots uh, at the start and end of your clip. Go up to this graph editor so once you're in here you're gonna want to click on this and then go to this little uh, thing right here I don't know what to call it and then you see these little yellow lines right here uh, you're gonna just want to pull this down like so make sure it's a good slope something like that and that's gonna really make it slow to start and then it's gonna ramp up right when the transition happens. So I think that looks fine like that. And with this bottom one, you don't wanna go down like that because it it goes not in, not in your favor. And then let's hit this graph editor again so we can get out of there. And then go to the seller adjustment layer, select these two dots, go to graph editor. And since we're going from 70 to 100, uh, once you hit this one thing right here, you wanna go like so. So it ramps in the other direction and then you can see the transition is getting there. So you see it's pretty smooth right now. You can adjust these to your liking. Um, so you have a smooth transition. And then to export this clip, you are wanna go to File, Export. And then I usually do the Adobe Media Encoder. It's just faster, it works better uh, than the render queue for me at least, so that's my personal opinion. And then after I export it, I like to bring it into Premiere Pro just to check, check things out because it's a, a little less complicated in Premiere Pro. And this is where I like to you know, shorten the transition when it ends. So you can see I made it a little long on the back end. 
So maybe we'll stop it right here. And then after I trim the clip to my liking, I just bring a, I just found this uh, background music hype, uh, no copyright obviously. And I drag this in, I put it, actually before I do that, um, I should go up here um, and find the good part of the song where it's a beat drop that the transition um, fits well in. So let me scrub through and I'll be back in one second. <laughs> so I found a good spot where the beat drops and uh, this, is, this is the final guys. Honestly, you, you guys can play with it however you like. You can add uh, fire particles at the at the transition end where you'd like uh, to show off a little bit. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. If you like this video, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys later.